Jackie, and I'm here with your all-access interview with Brayden of Say We Can Fly here at uh, Buffalo Fans Warped Tour. How are you doing today? Pretty good. I actually didn't know we were in yeah. Buffalo. Well, we're... I, I usually don't know where we are until I wake up. Yeah. Somebody, so. <laughs> I'm not even sure what day of the week yeah, it is today. Yeah. I don't feel bad. Uh, tell them new fans out there uh, your latest uh, release and where they can get it. Um, so I just released a fourth album called Between the Roses and I have a deluxe edition that I just put out for a war tour. Um, it's on iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, pretty much everywhere on the internet you can find it. So. And yeah. there's uh, one or two songs that are indicative of your overall sound that you want these new fans out there to listen to. What would they be? Um, probably the first track on the album is called Song of the Sparrow. Um, it's just like probably one of my favorite songs that I've ever written. And then uh, I have a track called The Art of Anastasia which is probably lyrically my favorite favorite, my favorite, favorite, favorite song. Um, so yeah, those two are definitely my, my top, top two. So what stage are you playing here? Um, I'm playing the acoustic bass one this year. And I would say that arguably acoustic music is really one of the purest forms. Um, how do you make sure that you get across what fans would hear on the CD? Yeah, I mean it's tough, you know, because um, I have like you know a lot of other instruments when I record, but when I go into the studio, I always lay down the acoustic guitar and the vocals first, so I kind of build the song around that because I feel like it, you know then that's always going to be the focus. So that when people come to the shows, it's like you know it's about you know they hear those cool guitar parts and they hear like the vocals. Um, but I mean you know definitely in the future I'm like I'm going to start messing around with full band stuff. But I think I just you know try to give it all I got every show. And that's all I can do. That acoustic tent has so many great acts. It does, yeah. Are uh, there any ones that you make sure that you hang around for during there? Um, yeah, well, my friend uh, Buttons, he's amazing. He's like the nicest dude in the world. And uh, yeah, I've seen him play a couple times. Um, and yeah, there's uh, this guy, um, his name's um, Roscoe from Onward, etc. And he's like super talented. I mean, everyone in there is like super talented. So I just try to catch him when I can. And Brian Marquis, of course, is like one of my favorite people ever. So. Yep. Um, work for fans, there's tons of them around. Uh, how do you make sure that you grab their attention and keep their attention over at the acoustic tent? Um, well, I think what's cool is that, you know, I, put, I spent so much time, like, um, you know, on Twitter, on the internet, like, talking to kids. And, like, you know, I, I have such a, you know, the people that come to my shows are so, like, supportive and are so, you know, loud, too, which is cool. <laughs> so, pretty much, you know, every day of the tent has been a fact, which, which really helps, I think, to bring new people over. Because, you know, what I've noticed is, like, you know, if, if, people, if kids see a bunch of people watching something, you know, a lot of them will just come and peek their head in and check it out. So, if I ever, like, if I, you know, if there's moments where I see, like, people coming over, I'll, like, kind of, like, be aware of that. And then I'll, like, you know, sing a really high note that I, I didn't do, you know, or something like that. So, I just kind of try to make sure I'm, you know, when there's new people around, I'm, like, you know, really going for it. Peer so, pressure helps. Yeah, I mean, that's, definitely. That's, that's definitely helpful. Yeah. Um, you mentioned social media. Is there, so if that is absolutely you going one-on-one yeah. -on -one with, with fans. Yeah. Is there a platform that you prefer or do you make sure that you cover all of them? Um, I mean, I think like, I've learned that you can use them all for different things in different ways, but I think I really like uh, Twitter a lot just because it's like real time. Um, you know, it's just everybody's thoughts and like, you know, people can tweet back and forth you know, in a second. And that's really been helpful for kind of like keeping the, uh, keeping the conversation going and, uh, you know, keep, keeping people informed and, you know, people, people are just very quick on there, so that's, that's my one. So you're good at keeping it under 140 characters. That, that's a skill. Yeah, that's hard not sometimes. everybody has that. Yeah. Um, in 2015, when record sales aren't the benchmark, how do you feel successful? What does achievement feel like for you in the music scene now? Um, I think, honestly, it's probably just having people come to the shows. Because, you know, it's like, yeah, you know, people don't sell, sell as many albums anymore. I don't sell as many albums as I'd like to, but it's like when people come to shows, you know, they're paying for a ticket and they're buying, you know, merch. So I think that kind of makes up for it. So that's why, like, you know, I hear I hear some artists, like, complain about, like, Spotify and Pandora and stuff because, you know, the payouts aren't amazing. But, um, you know, how, like, how easy it is for people to find new music and access it, like, that's, to me, very, like, more valuable than, you know, selling a record. Um, so yeah, I think just having people come to the shows and enjoy the music, that's probably the most like, like, thing, and that's what I kind of focus on. Building that fan possible. base is very exactly. important. That's how you get started. Yeah. So what's up next for you after work tour? Um, I'm going to be doing a bunch of touring that I'm working on right now, um, some of which I'll be announcing soon. And then new music, of course, will be coming soon. I'm, I'm going to be talking about all the stuff in a couple weeks. So, uh -huh. That's a good tease, though. Yeah. We'll take yeah, it. Yeah, we'll, I'm going to keep on going. We'll stay tuned for much more from Save You Can Fly. This is Jackie. Thanks to All Access and in the key of change. Excellent. Thank you.
I'm gonna steal you for just one more 